Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I've technically made this video before, but it was so long ago when I first started my channel and I have literally thousands of more subscribers now. So people keep asking me this, I just think they can't find it. It's how to contact an Alibaba supplier. And we're gonna be giving you the exact copy and paste email template here. So what we have here is the inquiry that we're going to be sending and you could just literally copy and paste this. I'll put it in the description. Um, you know, I probably could charge you guys for this. It's a sweet template, but whatever we need, we need people selling on Amazon. So let's, let's just say we're going to be selling this right here. Okay. And this video doesn't have to be very long. It's very simple. I'll show you how to do it. So this is your product. You search it. You guys have gotten here before, you know, um, you're going to go to contact supplier. So this is a um, waxed fire starter kit. Those look uh, interesting. They actually have pretty good pictures. Okay, so we would go to contact supplier. And then this is the page where you're going to take this template, which will be in the description. Copy that. And the way you should go about contacting Alibaba suppliers is you're gonna paste this into like five different suppliers. So this is the supplier up here. You wanna search, you know, cheap, or you would just search wooden matches or wooden ma waxed matches on Alibaba. And you would message like the first 10, first five suppliers that show up and send this to all of them because they're gonna all give you different prices. And then you could, you know, triangulate which one you should go with based on who gives you the best price and the best quality product. So let's go. Um, you know, you're not going to have your product there. I just deleted that because you're going to put um, wooden waxed matches. Um, could you please provide me a quotation for So let's just go over really quick. It's hello. My name is Paul. I run an e-commerce store on Amazon in the United States. I am looking forward to your wooden waxed matches. Oh, wait, no. I'm looking to add your <laughs> wooden wax matches to my online store. Could you please provide me a quotation for 250 units? Test order. And um, this part right here, test order, if it sells well, I will order more. You only have to keep this in here if the minimum order quantity right here says over 250. So we'll take that out because they only have a 50 minimum order. Um, UPC code to be printed stickered on packaging. Um, we could actually change that to barcode but they understand what, what you mean. Um, you could leave it as UPC. That's how I always send it. Um, my business logo slash name to be printed on the product packaging. So that's what private labeling is, right? And then shipping to, and you could put your address in here just as, you know, it's kind of a good um, estimate of what it will be to ship to the US. Because if, if, you know, if you put your address in here, odds are it's only gonna be within, you know, 20 to $50 difference to ship to a actual Amazon warehouse, depending on where it is in the United States. So you just send them your address right here um, and say, um, usually what I'll do is do like door to door air shipping to um, your address. And I could go edit that in this before I send it to you. So we'll change this to door to door. Air shipping to your address. Okay. And then um, lastly, could you include the estimated manufacturing time along with the shipping time? Um, thank you. I look forward to working with you. Please contact me at pauljsavage.com. You're going to put your email right here, or you don't even have to include this. Some people prefer to just do all their contacting through Alibaba. And if you're paying with trade assurance, it's actually good to do that because you know, it shows like a proof of you asking them for the product and ordering it. Um, it's just track history. It's like a receipt, basically. Um, so yeah, then you're going to send that. Um, we could change this to 250 just so when they see it, they see it's a higher order quantity than their minimum. And you would hit send. So I'm not going to do that because I have no interest in, you know, hearing back from <laughs> the supplier about this product. But let's just let's just do a mock up really quick. So say we're looking for that product, waxed wooden matches. Okay, so these are different products, but that saves serves the same purpose. 
So what you would do is, well, you would go in the description and copy and paste this, but you're going to grab this, I'm going to copy it, and then you're going to throw it right into, say, the first one right here. So, you know, we want to contact this supplier. So you're going to go in here, you're going to put your template in there, you're going to make sure you change that to your address, and then change that to wooden mattress. And what I'll do, I'll show you um, a quick trick is I'll go wooden matches there, you know, I'll put my address in. And then after I change it, I'll recopy this, because now it already says wooden matches in there. So I don't have to keep editing that every time. So I would send that, and then I would come back to here, you know, maybe I'll click on this one. And now all I have to do is literally go contact supplier, paste, I don't have to change anything, I already have wooden matches. And I already have my address in here, I'm going to send, I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to click on this one. So you see what we're doing there. Um, that's that's how to contact Alibaba suppliers. So that's the template you guys can use. And that's just the first thing you say. And what you would want to do after they give you the quote is discuss with them the differentiation you're trying to make. So obviously, most of the time, you're not just going to be ordering exactly what they're selling. So feel um, don't feel awkward trying to negotiate with a supplier. It is literally expected of you. Um, I talked about this in one of my last videos. Alibaba suppliers and Chinese manufacturers expect you not to pay face value of what they're listing. Um, they almost disrespect you if you just accept this price and say, okay, I'll pay that without even trying to negotiate because universally negotiation is it's part of business. If it's, it's a win-win if you could negotiate down and you have a price you're happy with and they have a price they're happy with selling it at. If you just accept this price, you kind of look like you don't know what you're doing. They don't really respect you too much and you, you want a good relationship with your supplier. Um, they're going to be the people making the products for your business. So you definitely don't want to be fighting with your supplier. Um, you know, be friendly and you're going to ask them. So say they, they quoted, um, let's just say three cents per piece. Say, okay, that seems a little bit high. My landing cost is two cents per piece. And you wouldn't be talking per piece. You'd say maybe if you're doing a hundred, so it's three dollars. Say, okay, my landing cost, I want to get to 250. Can you meet me at 250? And maybe they say, um, we could do 263. And okay, perfect. So when you add that up over the course of, um, you know, ordering thousands of units, that's hundreds, if not thousands of dollars that you just saved from one simple message. So after you send this template, you're going to negotiate. And then um, you're pretty much going to order a sample. And then that's pretty much all there is to it. You know, this is not a really hard process. Um, you're just, you want to build a good relationship with your supplier, make sure everyone's on the same page of the view you have for your product. And then, you know, once you get closer to launch, you're going to be sending them the barcodes that you get from your seller account. And then you're going to be sending them ultimately the shipping labels. And then that's it for your first order. They're going to send it in. It's going to go into Amazon warehouse and you are all set to go. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we just hit 2,500 subs guys. You guys are really really awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And um, yeah, leave a comment. I know this kind of thing, the Alibaba supplier stuff is, I get like the most questions about this part. Um, you really just have to start talking to suppliers. Okay, like what's the worst case scenario? There's 180 different suppliers for this and one of them doesn't work um, because they don't match your price or it was an awkward conversation. Just like <laughs> get out there and just like talk to suppliers, you know, like start when you find a product, the first thing you should do is go look for a differentiation. Once you know the differentiation, go start talking to suppliers. Um, that's the only way you're ever going to get the product to you is if you find a good supplier. So don't be afraid to find a good supplier and definitely don't be a good, don't be afraid to negotiate. I'll see you guys in the next video.